Hello and welcome to the Global AI Podcast. We are coming to you from the second Global AI Summit emanating from Riyadh, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Our guest today is a professor from Oxford University. We have Professor Philip Tor. Thank you very much for being with us. Thank you for inviting me. And, uh, you know, uh, Professor uh, Philip, um, the Global AI Summit's overarching theme is how artificial intelligence can be used for the betterment of humanity. So from your perspective, how can AI help in humanitarian efforts? I mean, I think it's um, becoming apparent that AI will permeate every aspect of society. It will make us efficient. It will give us the tools to allow us to work and improve pretty much any area of human endeavor. So you're seeing that all the way from healthcare through uh, business analysis, um, yeah, so I just think that uh, autonomous cars is something that I've worked on. Another aspect I've worked on, for instance, are um, uh, glasses, which mm -hmm. will help the partially sighted by enhancing their vision. So okay. I think that all of these types of applications can be uh, you know, helpful. And there'll be many more that I haven't even listed here. All right. And um, talking to a lot of uh, guests during the summit, uh, everyone was telling me about, you know, artificial intelligence and ethics and how it's being shaped as the industry advances. And it also varies from culture to culture. So where do you see the evolution of AI ethics from a universal matter? I think that what's important is to understand that AI itself is just a tool. Mm -hmm. The ethics is actually the same as the ethics of any human interaction. So I think it's for us to um, uh, lobby governments to understand and enforce the principles of privacy, fairness. Um, but I think that people themselves get hung up on AI. It's not the AI that will create the abuses. Mm -hmm. It's humans that create the abuses. So we need to ensure that um, humans don't use AI for malicious uh, intent. But AI itself is neutral. All right. Um, and... Uh so where, where do you see data privacy uh, falling into this? Well, that's a very interesting uh, question. I think um, we might actually be transitioning to an era where privacy uh, and uh, lack of privacy would just be a norm. If you think about, um, you know, the uh, past when we were um, in maybe more simple societies, everybody would know what everyone was doing. People would live in villages. They would all be very aware of everybody else's um, occurrences. So privacy itself, um, you know, may not be so important. I think the key thing is if it's just a few people mm -hmm. who are aware of our data. And so, again, I think that it's important that... Um, we actually lobby the governments to make laws to enshrine the rights of people because right. uh, I think pe you know, maybe one or two yeah, pri information is power and one or two people misusing that could be um, could be uh, have very negative consequences. OK, so your take is let's uh, minimize who has access to this data so yes. we can ensure that it's not used. for. Yeah, I mean, purposes. actually, you know, an interesting thing might be uh, at the moment, you know, we have corporations or various other entities gathering a lot of data about us. And so we should be concerned about the, how those are used. There might be a utopian future at some point, you know, maybe in a hundred years where all of that could just be handled by AIs without giving away information to um, individuals that might benefit them uh, unnecessarily. Okay. And um, so uh, how do you, uh, from your perspective, how do you see that, uh, you know, gatherings and global think tanks are enabling to advance artificial intelligence? Like like, how is dialogue uh, helping? I think, I think it's super important. I mean, for instance, let's take this particular meeting. I think it's been an amazing melting pot, not just of people um, within AI, but across uh, practitioners of AI, but also across cultures. And I think that's very interesting, right? So I think that it brings together the world to communicate about how we should use AI. So I think that... Um, uh, you know, one of the things that was sadly missing during the era of COVID when travel um, was stopped, sure, you can learn about things on the internet and you can do these things, but it's actually meeting other people, say, coming here, understanding your culture, you're understanding my culture, um, and actually the personal meetings that really drive science forward. You can certainly do a lot with Zoom meetings, mm -hmm. but that added dimension of actually we are by nature social animals. So meeting, communicating, understanding each other is very important. And I, so I'm very happy to come to this meeting. 
All right. And uh, the first Global AI Summit was heard, uh, held virtually due to COVID restrictions. Um, wh what, is, uh, what are your thoughts towards uh, the kingdom taking an initiative to bring in professionals from all over the world, entrepreneurs and uh, decision makers all together to basically, as you said, have a dialogue on how artificial intelligence can be uh, advanced in a um, basically cohesive manner worldwide? I, I think um, so. Most of the conferences that academics go to are academic conferences where we exchange technical ideas or mathematical ideas, but they can be um, also a very important place um, where academics, entrepreneurs, policy makers all meet because AI is such a disruptive thing that will f affect the whole fabric of our society. But it's important that all of the policy makers, the stakeholders can meet together to exchange ideas. So something like this, this sort of forum is super, super important because we need to have that dialogue from all the way from say academics like, like myself saying what could be possible and what is possible and defining those limits to policy makers who might then decide what is you know appropriate for society to artists who will have a vision for uh, a different type of uh, living to entrepreneurs who will translate those ideas into things that we could all use all right and uh, from your opinion and perspective what are um uh, basically one uh, which is touches on one of the summit's themes which is ai never so what is one thing we should never do in terms of advancing ai like are using ai uh or like it would be something that we would consider something you shouldn't do while using artificial so intelligence i i think it will probably happen but one worry i do have is the increasing automation of warfare so you could imagine at some point having um, armies of, say, microscopic drones that would go around and kill a particular population. Um, I think that uh, if that is then automatically controlled because these systems get so complex, if something goes wrong, you know, the consequences could be very serious. So I think that um, I think that would be, say, one example mm -hmm. where we just have to be a little bit careful about making sure there are, uh, yeah, we don't give a world ending situation to AIs. Okay. And uh, the final question uh, is, is basically, so you've, you know, you're, a, you're a speaker here at the summit. Uh, and you've helped uh, and you've been in plenty of meetings. What key takeaway do you feel you've gained from attending the Global AI Summit? Actually, one of the, I mean, uh, quite a few, I would say. But one of the things is, this is my first visit to Saudi Arabia. And what I've been uh, impressed by is the pace of change. So I think that uh, it's very interesting to see how many female entrepreneurs there are and the level of education now um, being much more equal. So I think uh, this was something that to me is very important. And when I hear in this conference, there's a lot of discussion about uh, expanding upon that. So I feel like that's, that's super, super great. But I think also the general uh, mood seems very exciting here. And I think Saudi Arabia is entering a very new and quite exciting um, era. All right. And uh, so, um, um, one last question about uh, basically the uh, governing uh, the the protection of, of data and everything. So, like, uh, where do you feel governments can play a pivotal role in ensuring that uh, one data is is collected in an ethical manner, and uh, two that it's basically facilitated for, as you said, uh, to advance certain um, elements and. Um, sectors and businesses in in a proficient way that will help humanity yeah so i think it's i actually i think privacy and misuse of data is super important and in some ways there's always a temptation for instance with the english government to actually remove um these because they'll often actually governments themselves like to accrue more data about people mm -hmm. and so i think the eu has been a very good model where they've actually tried to push back on that and try to enshrine more privacy laws and i think that uh it's not something that's very natural for governments to do because governments always want to accrue more power to themselves. Yeah. So maybe it's for the populace themselves to actually put pressure on the governments to make sure that these things are done in a much more uh, way that uh, is fair and ethical.
All right. And uh, I'd like to thank you very much for taking time yes, to be with you. us. And uh, we hope you're enjoying your uh, the rest of your stay here in the kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Oh, I'm very excited. I'm After this, I'm going to uh, drive to Alula oh. and uh, and have a look at the uh, ancient Navasin ruins. Uh, so I'm, I'm very excited by that. All right. Well, I hope you have a good time uh, looking at the uh, Nabatean and Dedanese ruins in, oh, yeah. in Alula. Yes, yes. <laughs> Thanks for correcting my pronunciation. <laughs> oh, yeah. no. It's, uh, the, yeah. There are two yeah. of them. They're both. So you, there's the Nabateans and the Dedanese. So. Ah, okay. Cool. Yeah, two cool. civilizations cool. live oh. there. <laughs> yeah, so excited. Yeah. All right. And and uh, that's all the time we have for this episode. We'd like to thank you and tune in to our next episode for the Global AI Podcast. Bye.